So the starting point, as always, in two-point perspective, is to draw your horizon line and label up your vanishing points, VP1, VP2. Remember, sharp pencil, using the ruler, keeping all your verticals at 90 degrees, so start with the nearest vertical always, then do short lines up to the vanishing point. You can see how the ruler is lined up on the vanishing point. It's not necessary to draw the line all the way up, if you know that your drawing is going to be uh, in the middle of the page like this. So they put the two of the verticals on and then put the top on. Remember every time it's a diagonal line it goes to one of the vanishing points. So for the cube on the horizon line again start with the nearest vertical and then two lines to VP1. Put the vertical there and then two diagonal lines to VP2. Remember, this is on the horizon line, your eye level, so you'd only see two sides. You don't see the top and bottom. And then the next one we're gonna do is above the horizon line. So again, the nearest vertical is the starting point. Two lines to VP2, two diagonal lines there. Two on the other side. And then once you've done that, you then put your verticals in at the end, and then you put the bottom in by going to VP2 on that side and VP1. Remember, you can pause this video at any point, play it back to copy it. What I'm doing, and then what we're going to do is try and build this depth. We're going to start drawing some shapes behind. So, I'm again, start with the nearest vertical. Do a little short line and stop it just behind that box. Can you see how this is building like the illusion of depth? And it looks now as if this cube is behind that one. And that's just a question of repeating this process uh, a number of times until you feed the space. The idea is that all of the cubes will be somehow interconnected. So they're not sort of floating by themselves. They are sort of behind or in front of other cubes. So just talk you through this one. So again, start with the vertical, little diagonal line there. And I'm gonna guess where the vertical needs to go. So that's one side of the cube. And then I'm gonna put the other side here. So again, the diagonal is always to the vanishing point. And then the vertical line goes in. And this goes on until you put, so see if you can fit in as many cubes as you can. So once you have done that, what you can look to do next uh, is remove some segments. Now there are some other little videos on my YouTube channel that show you how to do this, but if you just watch what I'm doing. So again, the basic principle is drawing another shape onto a cube. And this is why you need a rubber. And this is why you go for light pencil as well, because that way then um, it's easier to rub out and then once you, then you need to put the lines back in. So this is the challenge. Some of you will want to have a go at this. Others might find this a little bit tricky, but you know, have a go. Like I say, pause, stop the video, replay the demonstrations that I've done. These ones at the back are really easy to do. So it's just a vertical line there, little diagonal line down there. So remember, always to a vanishing point, vertical's always 90 degrees, and you can see how it's removed the segment.
Once you are happy that you've uh, removed enough segments, then you can put the colour in on. Remember, light, choose a light source. I'll go for top right hand corner generally and put some rendering on. Light, medium, dark to really enhance the aesthetic and add some fine liners to sharpen it up. Look forward to seeing the results.